They say, if you can picture yourself triumphant, you have won half the battle. Hello everybody, welcome back to the final battle of the campaign 100 Years of Peace. And I think after this one here, we are queen. Never pictured myself as a queen, to be honest. My dear princess, the decisive battle lies ahead. To win Kronstadt means winning Tandria. That is if Lord Wolverine or Bishop Matthias don't claim the city first. Let no such thoughts enter your mind, or they will manifest themselves. I admire your determination, Bors. It appears nothing ever deters you. Where there is a will, my lady, there is a way. And what if their will is stronger than ours? Then we will have to undermine it, won't we? Kronstadt belongs to me and to our people. Retreat from our kingdom and I shall let you withdraw peacefully. Don't let this thief get to you, princess. Lord Wolverine is only afraid of losing this decisive battle. We cannot allow to feel fear. This region around Kronstadt is the heart of Tandria. A beautiful map, another one. Snow-covered mountains. I always love snow-covered mountains. Shall turn. It is now my time to win. Oh no, you're too old. There can only be one queen. To successfully overcome the lord and bishop, I suggest we use the advantages of this region. You may find support at two powerful sites from former times. The cathedral and the pilgrimage site. Now, princess, take heart and put an end to this terrible war. Win this fight for Tandria and its rightful heir. Alrighty, I think it's time. Beautiful, beautiful locations on this map. Let's have a look at the map layout first before we start with the real thing. So we do have a big map again. Um, quite some territories around us here. There's some good fortification here. We do have a cath the cathedral here. So I think we'll need to send oh, 27 tools. Are you real? 27 tools for that. Okay. To finish the cathedral and then we get the prestige point for that. We also have something over here. The pilgrimage site, so we do need six clerics and three brothers, so that's new. That's a new production chain that is awaiting us there with the brothers, because we need books for them. And so far, those are the most important ones. Other than that, we can just take the same thing again. We should start with the technology, and as you can see, lots of technology is awaiting us here with a victory point in the middle as well. So we should really also focus on that. And we actually start with quite a big town in this case. So let's start um, with the clerics there once again. We already have a district up here and there we have the church. We do have quite a lot of beer. So let's go for nine. Um, actually, let's go for 12 novices to get as many technologies as possible. And I also don't like it when I have a big town already since I really like to build myself. Over here, I can see that we do need some stone. So we should go with that. We do have quite a lot of tools. Where's my army? Uh, that's not really an army. Do we have an inn? We don't have an inn. There's a constructor. But it seems like we need to build them. Ah, there's the tavern. Okay, it needs a street connection though. And for that, I will need to get rid of the streets there, which is a prestige point. So we do need to get that first here, but up here we have the forest clearing. And only then can we get rid of the tavern there. 
right over here. That's not the best one. I think there's a better one over here. Yeah, there's some iron and coal. And down here, some gold. Very good. So we know the direction. And we should also go for more tools there because we want to build the cathedral, of course. The so tools is paramount. Righty, let's go for geology first there. What is that? Fishes, more fishes than... No, we go for this one here right away and the forced march as well. And then we unlock the ballistics with that and the books. And then we go for the victory point right away, I think. Architecture, constructors work twice as fast, that's not so important. Hygiene. Look at that, so many new technologies here. Melee units deal out more damage. Plus 40%. Whoa, that is a lot. Charge attack. And this is cool too here. Grain farmers and millers work twice as fast. That's really, really important there. So we also need to go there quick. Let's go with the exercise right away. And yeah, we can still have more clerics though. Even though plain food is out now. Where are my bakeries? Do I have bakeries? There, There's one. Let's go for a second bakery there. And my storehouse. Can actually go for a third bakery and we should do that. Right, and I really want to go with this one here. Because there's plain food here, lots of it. And gold. Hmm... Researching, we have to wait a bit here because we, we we need to wait for that one here. And he's got a... Oh yeah, okay, two victory points. I don't care about that too much for the moment. We got the bakery, the quarry. I have sworn to liberate these lands and nothing and no one will stop me. Congratulations. Your clients research the technology. Here we will have a windmill because I don't have one yet. It's like a test. Do we have enough stone? Yes, we do have enough stone. You succeeded in researching a new technology. Because now we have the clearance of the trees here. You learned a victory point. Very good. Now we have a connection with the tavern here, and that means we can now go for some additional soldiers. God's path may often be mysterious, but his oh. blessings always seem to find me. We do need brothers for the next step. So brothers is this one here. Does require an upgrade and the books then. Do we have books? Five books? Actually, we do have that. So it's really the upgrade here with the church. There it is. And that costs quite a lot. We don't have the iron for that. But to go for more musketeers, I hope that's fine for now. There are some mistakes in this town here that if you look closely, you find them like the church, like the tavern here, you know, like with no bakery and no windmill over here. So you had to fix a few things here before you can really start with it. I like that. And what I can see is also that we don't have a forester lodge, right? So no wood actually if we wanted to. So we need to go for a lodge. And we can have one here, actually. And... Yeah, with that army, we should be able now to take those areas here. So this one here, and this one here. Let's go with this one here first, since we do need the fishing grounds there. And you should also go for musketeers in this case, because what I've seen is that there are four pikemen here, and we already have four pikemen. So the musketeers can make a short process out of them. The pikemen shooting from behind. And we don't have any butchers. 
that's also important to build the butchers here. And there we're fighting already. Actually, we lost quite a few pipemen there. Yep. But we got the territory. That's the important one. What is that? Deployment of a novice. Send a novice to bless this camp and support your defenders with spiritual suc succor. Reduces the damage that enemy troops inflict on your armies in this sector by 10%. Okay, that's Opening not so new lands, important. Friend. Magnificent. Very good. So we have that one here now. Let's have a storehouse here right away. We have lots of planks. That's good to see. We do need a mountain shelter. Very important. For the gold. I love some gold. That we have there. We can have a forest lodge here. A lodge. Which we cannot build. That's strange. Going to have it here, one hunter and two fishers. And the hunter will then work over here in that. But that's a really tricky territory here. Not much building space. We still have seven, but nope, we should not go for them. For the next district there. I think we actually sent the novices then. Let's have another windmill here. And those guys can work over here then. And where's the victory point? I don't see it. There is it. Okay, for four brothers though, that we need from that. Storehouse has been built, very good. And we can go for... Yep, this one's the best. Some tools again, some plain food that we need. For some pikemen here. Oh, yeah, we don't have any gold. Technology-wise, it's looking pretty good so far. We just do need the brothers though. That's the one. And for that we do need iron bars. And for that we need iron which is here. So I guess we should be able to take four more. And then we can take this district here with clerics. Because I don't want to waste any soldiers on that. He's taking another district over here. Right, we really do like plain food though, so... I hope those fishes are coming up quickly. And let's have a look at my storehouse there real quick. Beer is fine. Yeah, sausage production is also fine. We could actually go for some more books. We could have 10 books like out of the box there right away. I think with that bookstore here, right? Yeah, let's do that. So we have 10 books. That means 10 brothers. That's good. Very good. And the fishes are up here now. Fishing those. Fishing in those rivers there. And I think we now have... Nope, we still need two more. There's some coal here. The gold. And there is some coal here anyway. Right, yeah, iron and coal. Very important. That's a very important... I should actually have taken this one here first, I think. Oh, you actually need something higher as well. A bishop, I think. A father. Okay, father. They need gold rings too. 
So we definitely need to start with a book production though, which we need paper and the paper, oh yeah, right, a paper mill. So we can have that right away. We do have the water and logs shouldn't be a big deal. Hopefully. There's our sixth prestige point that we could upgrade now something. And the Abbey. Let's go with the Abbey right away. Something we really do need. And one more novice. Come on. Give me the novice. Paper mill. Very good. So now we produce some paper. We do need it for the books. And we do need some fathers as well for the gold rings. We have three gold rings already. And a gold drill will definitely consume some gold. You name it. And iron bar. Okay. Your enemy gained access to a new technology. Now we have six novices. Very good. Let's go for the district over here. And there they are. I don't have any gold though for soldiers, so I really can't do much there at the moment. We need that district here, especially for the coal, I think. We do have some coal at the moment, but not that much anymore soon. And I do need some iron smelter as well, which we're going to have here. He's got another district here, but I'm closing in soon. Deo Jovante, I praise the heaven. A new sector is under your control. That's ours now. Let's have a storehouse here. And I hope we can build two mountain shelters here. That should be possible. Yeah, very good. Your neighbor acquired a new technology. Right, and up here we have the iron mine then. Two of them and one iron smelter. And here we have the coal miner. And I think another iron smelter. Because we do need lots of iron bars. And here we can have another lodge. Right, one for wood cutting only because we need the wood for the, the paper. And one for hunting. And one actually to reforest everything here. That's the important one. And what we can also have is the export office already, since we do have enough materials for that. And the export office will be important for sending the tools then to the district. So we can have that here somewhere. We can build that. We have enough resources, and if you remember, there's the cathedral. And whoever sends those 32 tools first gets the points, but we do need the export office first. We do have some gold coin again. Let's get two pikemen. Very good. That was quick here though. Production of those mountain shelters. Life must look so simple up here. So cathedral should be ours. Genius. Research the special one. Abbey upgrade my church to Abbey is actually a victory point too. Didn't notice that. And the fishes, yeah. We do have the fishing grounds, but we should get something else though for more plain food. And this district here just laughs at me. Research to technology. Oh, actually someone is already able to do that. So we should really focus on that too. Should we get six more novices? I think that might be a good idea.
four more actually we need four and then we can also start with the upgrade here since iron bars will be coming in soon very good we have four pikemen five musketeers and that just means that we can now go for another district and i think we should go for this one here we do have some fishes here better than this one here for sure crossing the bridge they're not doing that much damage yet we're going to research that soon Very good, and two iron smelters are now working too. And we do have a lot of stone, right? Yeah, we could uh, start upgrading those roads as well to speed it up. The whole thing. Here we have now that one Sun King. We don't have the Sun King. I'm a bit surprised at that. Opening up new lands, my friend. Magnificent with the storehouse and the lodge here right away actually we do have no only one fishing ground so two fishes here and then here two more mountain shelters another mountain shelter and we can also afford a farm here since we have lots of um fertile land Right, so this district is a good one. We still have eight soldiers, three pikemen. We could go for another thing right away. There are some stone and fish waiting here too. And up here... That's already a fortified district. We should not go for this one. Let's go over here. There we have some fishes there again. We do need them. And some stone and fertile land. Oh, no, 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 no. Back off. It's a reinforced district. Yeah. There's a tower. So let's send the soldiers over here then. Because we do need to conquer. Oh, that's a good reward there. Yeah. Iron bars. So important, we do have lots of them now. We have the expert office, let's get two hawkers. We can afford that. Two more prestige levels. Still not Sun King. Oh, he's got 10 prestige levels. Okay, this one's coming up now. Here we have coal two times, and here we have iron two times, and an iron smelter. It's a lot of tools, though, again, that we consume. We should have all the upgrading things, yep. You expanded your realm successfully. Storehouse once again, and in this case, yeah, let's have a mountain shelter for the stone. Could have some more fun uh, hunting here though with a hunter and some more wood cutting. That's important. Other than that, this district is really just there for upgrading it to one lap uh, step, so we can defend it then in the future. We 
We do have the hawkers, so all, all we need now is the tools. We need uh, 20, we have 25 tools, but where's my tool maker? There it is. We do need them. Let's boost it with some fancy food. Let's have a second tool maker here that we can also boost with fancy food, since we have enough of that. And very good, we're also upgrading now the church. Since we have so much gold, two pikemen and two musketeers. Very good. Church, we could upgrade it, I think, yeah, one more time to the highest one. Let's do that right away. Let's not waste time on that. And get the tools there. 25 tools. With the biggest cemetery the world has ever seen. <laughs> in this case. And we could go for... Residence upgrade, right? Oh boy, I'm not that happy with technology right now. 33% more damage. This one's also pretty good. And we have so much beer. Let's have two more novices there. Um, we could probably then start taking over those districts here with the clerics. It's much easier than with the soldiers. What I want to do though is since... Have we started upgrading this one? Not yet. We need to wait for that. There is the timber coming. Because we um, need more sectors, you know. So we, I want to go with the cathedral, of course. The genius. So that's two victory points. Three victory points. The Abbey, that's the first one here, that's what we're doing now. That's four victory points, and then we're lacking one. And we could go for... I think Sun King is too late now, but more sectors. You know, we need one more sector to have that victory point too. So we need to look out for that. We could bribe them too, what I can see right now. No, that's too expensive though in most cases. I want to wait here for the upgrade, otherwise they could just take it then. But my builders are really busy. It's probably best to upgrade the building there too. The construction office. There it is. It does need a point though in this one here. No. No, we can't up upgrade it. Not in this scenario at least. Alright, so what I think now, we do have some brothers there now. We can get quite a lot of them since we do have lots of books there. So we can now finally go for some advanced researches. Ballistic might be one and also the Scarecrow. The Scarecrow I do like because melee units... Um, what? The number of clerics needed to research technology is reduced by a third. Uh, that's also good, but not necessary. So I think this one here is the better route. We're going for this Scarecrow here, then the charge attack. Which does cost a f uh, here a bishop already, and then or father, and then the victory point, which is the most expensive one in this case. And I would also really love to upgrade this one here, since whenever I go, he's trying to attack it. So we should be careful about that. I want to get this district here, and then this one here, which we could get soon. So that's 11 brothers that we would need on that. Right, so we get this district here and then... Um, oh, I do have the tools. Let's deliver them. For the victory point. Totally did not notice that. So hopefully they're starting now to deliver it to the expert office. That's a victory point there. If I'm the first one and it's looking good. He's got a big army though. I'm a bit worried over here. 13. He's got 13 in there. It's a lot. And for some reasons, we're not upgrading. 
We do have all the resources though. Alright. We do get more clerics now. Hopefully they're researching. I don't I haven't seen them running anywhere. We can also send now some here to this district here that has some fortification, fortunately. So if he tries to attack, I mean his army is really growing there. Right, and down here we do need some geologists on replenishing the mine. I was expecting this. Ah yeah, and there we have the brothers now. And hopefully expert officers are already collecting the tools. Very good. And also we have now the abbey. Do we have the abbey? No, we don't. There's still another upgrade. <laughs> okay. But we can go for the father at least now. So let's have three fathers there. We can afford that. But yeah, it's still one more upgrade. And that means more... Actually, just more timber. More planks that we need. Right, so we could go up yeah, here. Most likely. Looking good. Woodcutter, sawmill, and also that. Victory point. Oh, yeah, because of the coins. You dare challenge me? Well, then be warned. Oh, she's the yellow one, right? She's the one. Is under your control. Uh, planks. Very important to go with planks in this case. I'm really afraid now. If she's attacking, she can take that district here back. No problem. The upgrade though is not that uh, expensive. Eight stone. Let's go for that. Very good. And upgrade fortification. We do have the eight stone. So let's do that. And here we deliver the tools now for this victory point. For the cathedral. You solved a quest. Very good. Another victory point for a brother in faith. That is ours now, so we are at three victory points. That's fine, but it's still no winning here. Tempia's we do need crown will soon belong to me. The mountain shelter for some more stone. We do have fishes here, very good. And hopefully the upgrade is coming through. Yeah, those fishes are done for, unfortunately. And here we can have geologists working for now. For the coal. Also over here. Let's activate the upgrade there. We still haven't upgraded this district yet. It takes way too long for those things there. I need my army here. We could also go for a new general, actually. We haven't used a second general yet, so let's do that. Because we can have one over here then and stop the upgrade. Let's stop the upgrade. We do have a general then here that is... Um... Oh yeah, that would cost us a victory point though for the gold coin, but that's fine. Um... Bertram, the bone crusher. Let's hire this one. One of your victory points was lost. We've lost the banker again, but that's fine.
Where's the general? We should have that one. Oh, they're all running to him. Oswald the Ordinary. Okay, they're all running to that one there. Hmm, I don't know. Perhaps the general appears at some point. I don't see him at the moment. Oh, very good. The upgrade is coming through. At least that is working. So now we get a tower here. There he comes. And it's going to be so much harder now for him to take this one. Very good. And Emperor. Okay, I need one more district. And this one here is still for the taking. That's six clerics. That should be easy. And do we have the stone? We do have lots of stones. Let's upgrade a few of those streets here to make it a bit faster. Right, this speeds up the transport here quite a lot. So not just a bit, but quite a lot there. Two more geologists here. They can still work on that. How's the upgrade looking? <laughs> still no upgrade. 15 planks, that's a lot. That's hard. We do have the novices ready though, so I think we can take this. Yeah. This district here, this should give us the emperor. And then we can actually go for this one here soon. We do need two more farthers. Oh yeah, that's the gold rings, you know, for this victory point there. So let's just wait that, I think. Yeah. Hmm, unfortunately, one uh, of the other one was quicker with the abbey. So we lost the abbey now as a victory point. So all we can do... Um, stop the upgrade. That's what I did. We have the fortification here. So I want to send my army now over here. Um, it's very difficult now to actually conquer a new territory because you look at that. The enemy has now... We are here crashed and we here crashed. So I think there is one more here, right? This one here we could take. But it's costing us quite a bit. Um, it does have some... Yeah, fortification here. So it's going to be a bit hard to take. We could take it though. So then we could have the uh, this sector here. We already are uh, king here for now. So someone would need to take two sectors there. But I really want to go here with my army to defend. Just in case he actually attacks me or something. That's important. And oh, now. After all this time, now we do have a second general. This one here. The Bone Crusher. Or whatever he is called. And right, we also replenished lots of ore, um, ore, as you can see with the geologists. So that's working again. And we should now have all the necessary clerics for that one here. Yeah, the pilgrims. The pilgrimage site up here. They're being now sent to that. So that's another victory point. And then we just need still one more. And in this case, I don't know where to get it from though. Pilgrimage site. Genius. It's probably the genius one. So that's a lot more clerics though that we need up to this point. Yeah. Either that or Sun King. Yeah. More prestige. So we do need, I guess, one or two more prestige points. We should be able to afford quite a bit of that. And we are. To make our town a bit more pretty. Keep it up. You right, that's the prestige the point, point 11, but we should probably go for another one right away since they're of course trying to catch up then with us. So, I do need one more. In this case, it's the this one there. Yeah, it's expensive on the stone, but we do have enough stone. Okay, that's number 12. So we should really be far ahead there now, very good. And now, let's see. Where are my clerics? There they are. Starting to climb the mountain now. 
Oh, look at that. 26 soldiers in here. I have to upgrade my districts. Alright, he took another district there. Very close to ours now. Oh, they're really slow though. Those holy men. And it's quite a long journey. To that one over there. Oh boy. If he attacks, I'm losing my district. I hope he's not attacking too soon. I mean, he, of course, doesn't want to sacrifice his army there too because he's got the field marshal, you know, so he shouldn't lose too many soldiers. Otherwise, he loses the victory point. So he's not doing that easily. And there we have our final victory point that we hopefully can keep then. So we should have everything here then. Emperor have at least eight sectors. That we could lose. That we could still lose. And the gold mint, let's have a look at that. I do have the mint somewhere, even though I don't think that I have too many. You were successful in solving a quest. Very good. Another Let's get another noble a uh, residence. Becoming a respectable rival. Because Keep we do need up. the mint more often. In this case, where is it? There it is. We can push it with fancy food, which we have enough to produce more coin. So even if we lose now the... Where is it? I think the Emperor, we could still go for Banker and have more coins than the others. Right, that's ours here, very good. One minute and 30 seconds, come on, we can do this. Hopefully he's not preparing something here. Even though we do have quite a good uh, fortifi fortification. Yeah, very good, that's this one. We could still lose the Emperor. I don't know, and let's just build a bit more prestige points there with the stones. We have so much stone. I don't want to lose you to something like that if we can prevent it. Very good. So that's 14 points. We do get a few rewards for that. So let's go with the books here. We could still use the books though. 19 soldiers. Look at that. 28. He's really piling for that, but that's not going to happen anymore. I think we've won this one. That was a hard mission, I gotta say that. for has come to an end as has your treachery now tandria will have proper rule again and bleed under your oppression i have no such plans of which you accuse me perhaps you don't but what of your father leave him out of this he has no doing in this matter tandria will be under my rule alone i certainly hope your words to be true for freedom's sake and yours, of course. Fantastic. You won the game. 